it's Nabila with Mailband. Welcome to our new playlist, which is the WooCommerce automation triggers for Mailband. Now, Mailband offers some WooCommerce automation triggers that will help you automate your email workflows for different actions that your users take from your WooCommerce store. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automation workflow for the people who are buying from your WooCommerce store for the first time. And in Mailment, this trigger is called the first purchase order. So let's get started. For creating a WooCommerce automation workflow in Mailment, you need to have WooCommerce, Mailment Free, Mailment Pro installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. I've already done that. And now I'm going to show you how you can create one easily. So first, I'm going to go to the automations. So once I go there, you can see that I don't have any automations here yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new automation and click on start from scratch. So if I click on this, you'll see that there is an option here, which is select a starting point. So since I have WooCommerce activated here, so if I click here, you'll see that the option for WooCommerce will appear here. And if I go here, you'll see there are in total six triggers for WooCommerce. So for today's video, I'm going to show you the first order in store. So if I click on this, you'll see that a brief is here under the uh, name of the trigger, which is that this automation will be triggered if a customer places an order for the first time in your WooCommerce store. What this basically means is, if someone is purchasing from your WooCommerce store for the first time ever, then you can use this specific trigger for sending them maybe welcome emails or onboarding emails or whichever fits your business. So basically, this trigger will be used for the newest customer of your WooCommerce site. So I'm going to show you another thing here, which is if I leave this, you'll see if I click on new automation, a first order engagement pre-built template for WooCommerce is already available on our automation recipes. So if I click here, the pre-made template will appear and you'll see there are some actions under the first order in store trigger which is assign tags add to list time delay and afterwards you can add a specific email sequence under this whole automated workflow so let me show you how you can utilize this actions and create a complete automated workflow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the assign tag in the lists, I am going to use a new list, which is new customer. If I add this, now whoever purchases from my store will be added to this specific list, which is the new customer list. All right. So after this, I can add another action, which is time delay. If you want, you can use this for like one hours, one day or one week whichever you want uh, for today's case i'm not going to use this what i will do is i will add an email sequence which i have created priorly to show you guys so this is basically a welcome series that i have created in order to add to that first purchase in my woocommerce trigger so if i go here you'll see the first email is welcoming them and the second email is a follow-up email with some personalized suggestions for their uh, future endeavor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the automation and select this sequence and you can see that i can select the, that specific sequence welcome series from here so if i click on this you'll see that my automated workflow is completed what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on start workflow so if i do that my automation will uh, successfully start and what I'm going to show you now is I'll purchase with a dummy account and you'll see that my new customer will be added to this specific list and will be sent the email sequence. So let's go to my WooCommerce store. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to just show you a quick view of a product. So this is a summer sundress product that I'm going to buy. Let's buy this let's go to checkout and let's fill up these
let's place the order now and you'll see that the order has been completed now let's go ahead and see if contact has been added to my list or not you'll see that nabilazohra.com has been added to the mailmint contact list and it has been given a new list which is the new customer it's still in the pending status since my double opt-in is enabled if i confirm this i will be added as a contact in my mailmint contact list so this is how you can utilize the first order in store trigger in mailmint from the woocommerce automation triggers you can create engaging welcome emails onboarding emails and many other type of campaigns using this specific trigger so that's it for today i'll see you in my next video stay tuned